Hi, glad you could join. I am with uh, the book of Jeremiah today, studying in it. Jeremiah is one of those prophets that is very worthy of our study, especially in this particular time, because the, the, the circumstances of his day mirror very closely the circumstances of our own day. The threat of judgment upon our world was imminent in his day, even as it is in ours. And so what God said through Jeremiah and what he said to Jeremiah is something that is important to us as well. Now, Jeremiah was told by God in chapter 9 that he was not to boast in any of the accomplishments that he had done. He was not to boast in any kind of, uh, of wisdom that he might have, any kind of, uh, of proclamation that he had given. None of those things were things that he was to boast about. He wasn't to boast about his family. He wasn't to boast about his association and his relationship with the king of Judah. None of those things. But the scripture says in verse 23, that let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me. Now that's not unique to Jeremiah. Jesus said that the very purpose for his coming, this is eternal life, he says in John 17, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. So Jesus echoes what Jeremiah said, but it doesn't stop there. Even Paul will later say in the book of Philippians, you can read this in chapter 3, he says that of all of the accomplishments that I have had, the one thing that I rejoice in is that I know you. That I may know him, he says and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings. There's a book written by J.I. Packer that I commend to you called Knowing God. And that's exactly what the point is of our relationship with Christ. We are to, not just to know about him, we are to know him. We're supposed to have that relationship with him. In his values are to become our values. The, the concerns that he has for this world should be adopted by us as our concerns for a lost world. You see, the idea of knowing someone, knowing a person, is the whole idea of all of Scripture. It says all the way back in Genesis chapter 2 that Adam knew his wife. Now, of course, there is a, a, a sexual connotation in that. But the point here is that that knowledge, that intimacy, that relationship was the, was the very thing that God desires for us. Certainly, he's a spirit, so there's not a, not a physical issue right here. But the idea of his values, his desires, should be adopted by us. And that's what it means to know him. Jeremiah is told, boast in this, that you know me. So how do we get to know him? Well, we get to know him like we know any other person, which is part of the reason why we need to understand that the God of Israel revealed in Christ is not just some impersonal force. It's not just some entity that we can be manipulated like people do in the Star Wars series. It's, it's, he is someone that we interact with. And a very important tenet of our theology is that he is a person. We talk about he is revealed in three persons, Father, Son, and Spirit. And that's right, because he wants us to interact with him, to know him, to be in fellowship with him, to be in communion with him. 
Now, how you, how you do that is the very same way you do with everybody else. If you, are, if you want to get to know someone, the first thing you have to do is to spend some time with them. You have to find opportunities for you and that person to be in the, in the presence of one another. And that, that's, that's sometimes difficult, but if the Lord is revealing that to you, if you want to spend time with someone, then, then find ways to do that. Go out to dinner with them. Go to a movie with them. Go have fun on a hike or, or go to a park or uh, play a game or whatever it might be. If you want to get to know someone, you have to spend time with them. And the same thing is true with the God we serve. If you want to get to know him, you have to fellowship with him. There has to be communication. You have to listen to him. He has to listen to you. Now, in the relationship that we have with the God of Israel, there are certain parameters because he is not just a common person. He is a God that is holy, and so, therefore, there are certain ways in which we can approach him. And that's what the scripture talks about. But but the main thing is that we are to do so. We are to know him. And that's what Jeremiah was called to boast about. Father, I ask you to help us to know you. Not just know about you. Not just think about the fact that you are, but to recognize that you are a person with whom we can interact, with whom we can fellowship. Guide us and give us discernment. Give us ears to hear you as you speak through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining.